Hey YouTube, so in the past I've had troubles with my bees getting through winter. One thing I'm going to be doing this year is building these moisture boxes or quilt boxes they're referred to as. This is a bunch of different ideas I've came across kind of thrown into what I think will be the best version of it. A lot of them you'll have a shim for feeding on. This I've actually decided to build it right into it. That's what this two inch gap is down here so then you could put uh, pollen patties down here if you need to or uh, hard sugar blocks and that's kind of my thinking anyways and then I can put two blocks of sugar down here and then I've got the mesh here the eighth inch hardware cloth and that'll be the barrier between the feeding area and then the, what you'd want to call a quilt box where you can put pine shavings in here and help alleviate some of the moisture I've made this out of PVC trim board. My thinking on that is number one, you don't ever have to paint it, and I hate painting, so that's one of the main reasons. Then number two, it won't ever rot, uh, which is because you didn't paint it. So that was my thinking on it, and even though that's quite expensive, I believe it was about $60 locally here for a one by 12, uh, 12 foot long. So, and I'm only gonna get two hives out of that or two uh, moisture boxes out of that. So just in materials, you're right around, you know, a little over 30 bucks a, a box, but they sell them for about 55, 60, and then you still gotta paint them. So I'm just thinking money-wise, this is probably the best way to spend it. Um, as far as getting the moisture out of here, I've made these shims, just put it on the top so when your telescoping cover goes over this, there'll be an air gap where the moisture can escape and exchange air and that shouldn't affect the bees down there at all because they'll have the shaving barrier in between. I've made them just under a quarter inch so that way hopefully the mice can't get in there and not to mention the cover is pretty relatively tight up against it as well. Alright you guys so I already did a step off camera here. This was a 1x12 PVC trim board I ended up ripping it down to a nine inch section up top here and a two inch, uh, about two and an eighth on the bottom uh, as the board was only about 11 and a quarter wide uh, to start with. And then you got a three quarter inch thickness on it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is start ripping these down to the body lengths. And uh, what I got here for the body is 19 and three quarters for the long side, 14 and three quarters for the short side. And then these spacers are going to be 13 and a quarter and 18 and a quarter. These measurements are all going to depend on uh, your thickness of material though. So that's for a three quarter inch material thickness.
Hey guys, so I know it's only been a second for you, but it's actually a year later now. I ended up installing these boxes here on my hives and I thought they worked out real well, but I never ended up installing an upper entrance for the bees in them. So that's going to allow a couple things. The main thing though is it allows the bees a way out to go and do their cleansing flights without having to completely break cluster and go all the way out to the bottom and then take them. So it just allows a little bit easier of a route for them as well as it will help uh, relieving the excess moisture in there. I ended up picking these little uh, entrance guards off of Amazon. I picked them up actually to make nukes, but uh, I figured they'll work good for this as well. So to install these, I got a, it's about a 15 16 hole in there. So that's what I got chucked up in my drill here. And I'm using that guide I actually showed you in that video earlier. Uh, but I got it set on about a 5 degree slant here. Just to lend any excess water from driving rain, it'll actually help to drain it out. But so basically to start, I'm just going to find the center of this. And I figure about an inch up from the bottom is going to be the center of the hole. Uh, obviously, however you build yours, it's going to depend on that. But that's what looks like it's going to work out for this. All right, so I know that technically this is actually installed upside down. Uh, the hole should be on the top side of this. It's just not an option with, uh, you know, having your screen in here and just the space it allows. Because otherwise, as you can see, their little landing platform is upside down now. But that's just the way it's going to have to be. Well, guys, all that's left now is to install these on my hives. I really like the way that these things perform, like I said before. I really like having the feeder uh, shim in here already. That way you can put your sugar, sugar blocks down in there, as well as your uh, uh, pollen patties in spring. But if you did find this video helpful or enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Comment if you guys got any questions for me or have any improvements that you think I should give a try. And uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow and I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching you guys.